Today's shoot probably couldn't have went any worse. Why? So it doesn't really snow much where I live, but whenever I get the chance and there is snow around, well, photos, B-roll, there's so many things I can do now. So let's go. To be honest, it doesn't even feel that cold out either. So I mean, today might actually be a good day for this. So now we gotta set up the GoPro a little bit because I wanna get just some shots of me without really having to worry about the camera too much. Why are you saying error? The struggles of being a creative. All right, we're good now. Also, I'm using a Pro Mist on this and I just wanted to use that a little bit to soften because with all this white, it's gonna bloom really well. Let's get to it. Okay, I'm already seeing the first photo. It's gonna be of this shed. I already love the contrast. Let's see how I wanna frame it though. I just hate that this one's right here. This one, I just don't want it there. I want this one. Maybe I can just angle it to the side and it'll be okay. All right, maybe one of these type of shots. So for this one, we're gonna take the aperture to 1.4, going for more of a detail shot here. And boom, I don't really like that one. There we go, that one looks pretty cool. Let's go a little further down into the woods. Ooh, this is a nice little opening. Oh my God, I wish I had a subject, like somebody actually here right now. That would be so much better. Dude, I'll be right back. I gotta go get this camera. So cool down here. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this type of video, actually. It seems pretty fun to make. So, I mean, if you guys want more of these like GoPro POV type of videos, just let me know in the comments. Okay. I have to get a cool picture here. So I'm just gonna take a video, honestly, and just screenshot it. I know that's a really cheated way to do it, but I'm actually getting kind of cold now. All right, this camera's set up. Let's get a couple cool little pictures real quick. We'll start with a pretty simple up close one. Back up a little bit. Of course, you gotta get the back angle, you know, the whole influencer type shot. Walk down a little bit. Okay, now influencer shots aside, let's get back to this actual photography and not just recording videos and taking screenshots. All right, so this ladder looks a little interesting. Maybe I could do like a, yeah, bruh, this is cool. So here's some symmetry for you guys. Cool, cool. Got some contrast going on right here. What if I like shoot through the ladder? Is that gonna look cool or does that just look dumb? Might actually look pretty cool. All right, now how about we get a couple shots of the A7C, get a shot like this, boom. By the way, I'm using the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4 on the A6400 and then get a shot of me taking a shot. Is that gonna? work out at all i doubt it but i am shooting raw so i might be able to make it work all right this tree down here looks really cool let's go see what's up here Ooh, a shot looking straight up i'm sorry you guys might not be able to see this very well but oh my gosh that is awesome that might be one of my favorite shots so far that just looks really cool i'm just having fun today like these aren't supposed to be like the best things ever. Ooh, what about through this? Okay, that one was awesome. There's one thing we have not accomplished yet and it is not okay. We have not done a B-roll sequence, so let's go. fell. The ND filter is shattered. <sighs> oh my god, I hope it's not the lens. I think the lens is okay. This filter was like $300. Today's 
today's shoot probably couldn't have went any worse. Why? I broke this. Oh no. How'd you do that? Well, I had it on the tripod and I checked it, balanced it, everything was good, but it fell into the snow and yeah, it just did not go well. So there's $300. I'm really surprised the lens didn't break and I'm really glad I had an ND filter on it. I don't know, but anyways, it's broken. It looks like it's literally shattered. It is. It literally looks like I took a phone and threw it like a hundred stories down. Like this is what this looks like. Like I've had friends with messed up phones that look this bad and that's what they look like. I'm sorry. Yeah, it is what it is. So the lens is okay, but gonna be real with you guys these are some of the times that makes you just want to quit like not as in like quit filming but just like I don't know I don't know how to put it it just you break something that's three hundred dollars and you just you're just not motivated man I gotta push through that so we're not gonna quit here we're gonna keep our vibes as positive as we can <sighs> it just sucks but Gotta persevere, I can eventually get a new one. Probably won't get the same one again, I'll probably just get a cheaper one. PMV and D is nice and all, but not when you break it. I mean, this boy is shattered. But guys, we're just gonna keep on going. I mean, we're gonna finish off this B-roll sequence. Not gonna have an ND now, so it's gonna look a little different. Shutter speed's not gonna be followed correctly, most likely, but this is literally just to prove that I'm not gonna give up. Yeah, it really is all truly about perseverance. Like, there's gonna be times like that where it just happens and not really anything you can do about it. Like, I set up the tripod correctly. I know what I'm doing, you know, I balanced it and everything, kind of shook it around just for a second to like check and see. Then I walk off, as soon as I do, gone.